like the sweeping shot. Yeah, you're, uh, you want a, we want a 1320 video. Yeah. 1800 horsepower underground Colorado. Hello, and thank you all for coming to my show, The Joy of Painting Dino Charts. So, we're going to move on here. This is my buddy Ryan Ackerman's Colorado, and I have posted videos about it before, and he has swapped it with an LY6, and it has a Sloppy Stage 2 cam, and we had tuned it prior, and it made, it made like 350, 360 wheel. And then we're like, why? Well, you know, it's kind of low. We're not really sure. But Ackerman's one of those guys where it doesn't do what you'd expect or it doesn't make the power or he has bad luck. So I'm sure I talk about this all the time. Everybody knows somebody like that. So this is Ackerman. Uh, I would have expected it to do more, but that's what it made. It had iron manifolds because it was super easy. He's like, I just want this to be easy to work on. And we went back and forth, and he's like, well, I guess I'll spend a ton of time and money building long tubes. He built long tubes, and it made the same power. We're like, oh, man, uh, not ideal, right? And we basically tuned it on 87 and 93, and it made similar power, because what he wanted to do was drive it all the time, and he does. He drives it all the time. So the other thing, he's like, I'd love to get a blower and run it on 87, and just drive it all the time but have tons of torque down low for drivability or just it's obviously nice to barely roll into it and feel tons of torque down low that's where the roots blower comes into play so we did we did hit it many times so i threw in he was driving around on this tune it has a sneak eater 850 drop in ls3 height guys and then you have to get a fatter o-ring for the bottom of lsa blower so first hit was obviously dismal the torque come up, torque came up good so we're good on that so this looks bad but i put nearly no ignition in it because i was worried about it on 87 and for it being like the first swing at this car obviously so this is what it made and he just like busted out laughing because he's like just my luck i put a blower on and i make less so there's baseline manifolds i think we'll take a look at the yeah yeah here so it made 363 on manifolds and then with headers it made very similar as you can see uh, it even made a tiny bit less. Oh, I think these were in fourth gear and this was fifth. So fifth is one to one with these transmissions. It would be nice to put the blower back on and hit it in fifth. I forgot about that. And when we were done, I was like, hey, Ryan, we should have we should have done fifth. It would have loaded it up a little bit longer. And he's like, honestly, I, I don't care. The comparison is pretty cool because it should make more power in the one to one gear because the fourth is uh, underdriven. But anyway, uh, there's not much of a gain, not much of a gain here at all. 
it looks a little bit better, but this, imagine this curve shifted back. So they're identical, and that's why he laughed. So if you go from headers and tune, where was a... Uh, yeah, they're all right around there. Let's say number two made 356, and then we do the first LSA hit. It made a little bit more torque, but then it, it actually uh, fell off a little bit up top. So subsequent hits, uh, well, this one was a biff, I think, for whatever reason. So this looks pretty good. This is coming up there, but this is a spike on uh, torque. So 414, this is just my guess for spark. And we, we pushed it a little bit. Like I made, I kept making better and better down low. I was getting more comfortable, so I was stabbing it farther down low. Yeah, it's, see, it's mad here because of all the different speeds. So I kept hitting it lower and lower. Uh, I forget what was up with this one. This this hit, I can't remember what was going on. Oh, see the tack signal's dropping out. That's why we gotta go to speed. And then torque starts to get irrelevant. So I really leaned on it, made 430. And then 460 was ethanol. So this was really pushing on pump. You can see 422 and 430. It was like a degree or two. It definitely wasn't pushing. It wasn't worth pushing. So we ended up going back down to this 414 area with really safe ignition. Because this is 87 octane, guys. It's six pounds of boost on 87. So it was nice to see how well it did. And then uh, da, 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 six. So we'll go five is the push. And then six is the first E85 hit, and then it made 468 here, and that's all I really felt comfortable pushing it. it see, it doesn't really gain at all from that degree or two. I believe it was like two degrees, and it simply did nothing. And I think in between that, I made the air fuel aggressive, I put the timing aggressive, everything, and it just wasn't gaining. So either this motor's a turd or that's just what they make or i think the compression's lower on an ly6 i may be wrong i thought i looked it up i have the tune open and da, 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 da. do i have this open too hmm okay well here here's a good comparison like i was saying earlier uh let me move everything into my recording here so this is 87 octane versus E85, a clear picture. So this is Ackerman's truck. Green is pump and blue is E85. We're able to make significant torque difference down low and, uh, you know, horsepower and torque everywhere, but significant down low. So I didn't even get wide open here till 2,500, but it has 400 foot pounds of torque from 2,500 to 6,000 RPM. So think about that, 400 foot-pounds. Uh, 400, yeah, 400, and then it hits 450 at 3,000, and then it carries 450 to like 5,200. So the, the amount of guts down low is incredible, but this is the blower car back-to-back, -back, is what you have to realize. And then we have, I tuned a stock LS3 Camaro, why is the photo so small? Who knows, dudes? Who knows why this stuff? Why is it a garbage small photo? Uh, okay, I'm not happy with that other. Is it this one? Why is it so tiny anyway? Frustrating. Oh, here, can I do this? Yes. Ooh, there we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. This is the one. Dude, I don't know why it was so tiny, guys. Anyway, is this the... Am I overlaid correctly now? No, I need to make this shorter. I'm sorry for the... Maybe you guys should look away for a little while. <laughs> so this is the LS3 Camaro that I tuned. So this is tuned, and it made 360 wheel. And, you know, you might be like, well, you should have done an LS3. LS3 is kind of expensive. And this LS3 is tuned on 93. 
So it's something to keep in mind. He built this to be an 87 and be cheap on fuel cost. And when he can, he can get E85 because that's like a dollar cheaper than premium right now. So, and you can see with the blower, you have significant torque increase of almost 100 foot pounds down low, basically 100 foot pounds down low. So it, it does as good as the LS3. I mean, like we said, it should make more in our opinion with the cam and the blower, but that doesn't happen for Ryan. So we'll take, we'll take what we can get. Some of you guys might make much better power, but uh, assume this is the low end of what's possible just that way. So, and I think, what do I have? So here's the big one. So this is the 93 tuned LS2 Camaro versus Ackerman on E85. So now there's even a more significant increase. 300, 4, 150 foot pounds down low, 150 foot pounds, roughly like 125, 150 again down here. Yeah, so it just, it does incredible. Obviously it's a blower and everything, but all he wanted was meat in the driving area. So, and this is me rolling into the pedal here. I, I should have stomped it at like 1500 just to see what it could do. But uh, that's a nice comparison on all of that. And uh, that's about it. That's the rundown I can give you. So it has an integrated Terminator install. So he has some of the stock stuff, some of the Terminator stuff to make his AC and dash and everything else work. Uh, he did some funny stuff like people do where you he took the internal crank tooth sensor and water jetted a uh, crank uh, reluctor to the external part of his balancer and pointed the stock crank position sensor at it so it makes everything else in the car happy, everything. So pretty neat, funny thing. Let me know what you think. And if you have questions, uh, I'll answer. We'll get Ryan to jump in there and help out. Okay, thanks, bye.